Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel and another video. Today, we are ranking the five spring cleanup bosses that came out last week. It's Eddie Matthews, Zach Britton, Ernie Banks, Tom Seaver, and David Justice, as you can see on the screen above me. These bosses, pretty good. They're going to be some of the best cards in the game. We're going to rank them from five to one, so worst to best. And I should say, even the worst card, in my opinion, is still one of the best cards in the game just overall wise and he's going to play really well so when i say he's not a great card i'm saying he's not the best card in the group like obviously he's still a very good card don't get mad at me comment section but yeah hit like and subscribe if you guys are new we're going to break down all the bosses for every event uh and all that stuff so let's get into it right away so our number five guy i think this is going to be pretty universal in everybody's rankings our number five guy here is going to be Tom Seaver, all of these cards are 93 overalls, uh, so I'm not going to repeat that every time. Uh, Tom Seaver, pretty good starting pitcher. He's he's fine, but if you get two, you get to pick two bosses in this event, and he's just not good enough, in my opinion, to be one of the ones that you should choose. His hits per nine are really low for 93 overall, is 86, and then his Ks per nine are fine at 95 which potentially could help with the uh, outside PCI and all those foul balls. But I just I don't think it's high enough to really justify taking him here. I think there are better cards that you could go with. Yeah, I don't know. He's, he is deceptive to pick up, and his pitch arsenal is decent. He's got a sinker. He's got a fastball. He's got a slider. He's got a curveball, a changeup. Uh, he's got pretty decent uh, speed differential and all of those as well. He's, he's going to play well. He's just not one of the better cards in this drop, unfortunately. Uh, so Tom Seaver is going to be number five. Our number four boss here is going to be David Justice. He is, I believe, a new legend. I don't think we've ever had him in the game before. He is an outfielder, which does hurt his case a little bit, and he's left-handed, uh, which is neither a good nor a bad thing. It's just a factual thing. His fielding's a little bit low, coupled with his speed is a little bit tough. I think he's going to be a decent left fielder. I don't think you can get away with him in center or right, but I guess that does depend on what kind of ballparks you're playing in. I would avoid bigger ballparks if you're going to use him in either center or right. The left field you could certainly get away with. His hitting stats are pretty good, honestly. 90, 104 contact versus righties and lefties, respectively, and then 93, 108. Like, he's going to be good. At a minimum, he's a bench bat. Even once you parallel him, he's going to be very, very solid. But he's a bench bat at the end of the day. There are going to be better cards that you would rather use over David Justice. He does have, I think, a long shelf time as a bench bat. I don't think he's going to be one of the better outfielders. I think this card is replaceable rather quickly, depending on who they drop. There's a lot of outfielders they could drop. And there's even a lot of outfielders you would take over him now. So David Justice, unfortunately, is going to be number four. Number three is going to be Eddie Matthews, the third baseman. He's good. Obviously, some people like him. He is somewhat of a folk hero. If you guys are new to uh, MLB The Show, he's kind of a cult legend uh, in the community. But Eddie Matthews, 93 overall. His swing is kind of sick. It's pretty good. A lot of people love his swing. His contact numbers obviously are very good. He's got 109 con or power excuse me, versus lefties and 94 versus righties. The vision is very good. The discipline obviously is very good. He's going to get a better card in the future, and he doesn't have any positional flexibility here, which was a tiebreaker, in my opinion, between this guy and Ernie Banks, who's going to be number two. He is going to last longer in your lineup, I think, than David Justice will, which is why I have him ranked higher. But also, as a bench bat, I think he's going to be solid. His fielding is decent, but nothing to write home about. His speed also is okay. Uh, yeah, he's, he's a very good card. I just think there's two that are better than him. Number two is Ernie Banks, the Cubs shortstop. Very good. One of the best hitting shortstops in the game. This is going to be your shortstop for a long time. There's not a lot of shortstops you would take over him right now. The only one that super comes to mind is maybe... Uh, the live series Trey Turner, but even then it's awfully close. I think it depends on how well you hit with Turner. But besides that, there's nothing that's really close to this card, in my opinion. A lot of the face of the franchise cards, depending on how well you hit with them, maybe could rival this, but this card, pound for pound, is just better than all of those. Uh, his swing is nice. 
I think it's nice. I play pretty well with Ernie Banks cards, which that could be some bias. Maybe some people don't hit as well with them. But I think his swing is very nice. Uh, he's got some of the best hitting stats for shortstops that you're going to see until probably the all-star break when we start to see some like higher overall cards. Uh, his fielding's pretty good. His speed is okay. That's, I guess, the one knock. If you're going to have one, you would love for him to be a little bit faster. But 50 speed is okay. He's not going to be a burner. He's not going to steal a lot of bases for you, but it's like fine, you know? And he can play third base. And once you get him to parallel five, he has gold fielding at third base. So he's pretty good. Pretty good. I would take him over Eddie Matthews. I think he's one of the best shortstops and will be for a long time. And then the number one card. Do I even need to talk about it? It's Zach Britton. This is a closer. If you know, you need to pick him. Like your first selection at the boss, you need to pick Zach Britton. He is going to be in your bullpen the rest of the year. He has an outlier for his sinker. He's got 99 velocity and break. Uh, he's got 120 hits per nine, but once you parallel five him, that's going to be 125 hits per nine. It literally, it can't get better than that. His K's per nine, once you parallel five him, are going to be to 94. Pitch clutch is how effective people are hitting against you with runners in scoring position. That is maxed already on this card, which makes sense. He's got an 054 ERA uh, in the season this card is taken from. This card is going to be gross, and a lot of people by the end of the year are going to have him parallel five, and he will be rather inexpensive, I imagine, because he's going to be pretty easy to attain, and he's going to be disgusting. If this is a card, you need to take this card, and if you are not playing the game and you buy the game later, you need to do everything in your power to go get this card, because there's not going to be a lefty reliever better than him the entire year, I don't think. Like, even Chapman is going to get a 97 signature series, I think, is what he winds up being every year, and that card is not better than this card. It just isn't. The sinker is unbelievable without liar. Even though it has been nerfed, it's still going to be unhittable. 125 hits per nine once you parallel five him is going to be untouchable. This is it. This is the closer. Go get this card. There's not going to be a better lefty the whole year. He's the number one card. And that's the rankings. Let me know if you guys agree with my rankings, disagree with them. Uh, I think one is pretty clear, and I think five is pretty clear. But two, three, and four, I could I could hear some debate. Some other cards to be on the lookout for. Alec Bohm, if you're a BR guy. Pretty good, has a pretty nice swing. He'll have a higher over card later in the year, I would imagine. The 85 for now, not bad in BR, and maybe if you're just starting your team, he's not terrible as well. I would also say the same for Dickerson in BR. He's pretty solid. Uh, I wouldn't probably play him in ranked, although as a bench bat in ranked, I guess he could be fine versus righties. I would avoid Stripling. I would avoid Price, and I would avoid Reyes from this uh, other diamond pack, and then the rest are all golds and silvers and stuff like that. Obviously, a lot of parallel XP, but you guys can figure that out for yourselves. Uh, I did want to point out the get on base with David Justice thing is a nice money ball nod uh, with his silver. Everything else is player XP or parallel XP, but this one is just get on base with him. So I just thought that was a nice nod and wanted to uh, point it out. But that's going to do it for the video, guys. Like and subscribe if you guys did enjoy. Again, let me know if what you think of my rankings down below in the comment section. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.